In the evening of the 19th day of June, in 1864, I returned at last into Southampton water. The steam yacht Deer Hound carried me across the English Channel. Sweet fortune smiled on me the day I caught her. It was two years to the day since I travelled from Southampton by railway up to London and from there to Birkenhead. As I hoisted my old sea bag and stepped down onto the platform, no thoughts of war or fighting ever came into my head. I'd heard that they were hiring men for trials and delivery of a ship they called Enrica, newly launched on Merseyside. I didn't know she'd been procured for the Confederate States Navy. I enlisted as a seaman and I boarded her with pride. Across the rolling ocean, let your course be fair and true. Here's success to the deer hound and her crew. On July the 29th, we slipped our moorings and made steerage way. Hove to and let the ladies off when we had crossed the bar. Then with sail and screw together, we made twelve knots around Anglesey and past the South Stag Lighthouse before evening's first star. Next day we changed direction and ran up the Irish Sea, dropped the pilot at Port Ballantrae, and westward set our course. We learned the ropes and gained our sea legs, and we shook the ship down fairly, and by the end of August's second week, made port in the Azores. Captain Sams from Maryland arrived to take command. He flew his battle ensign from the mast for all to see. And he fitted her with guns and stores, renamed her Alabama. She was beautiful and dangerous, so fast and proud and free. With broadside and pivot cannon, and stores of shot and shell, her bottom sheathed in copper to protect the oak and steel. With sails and two steam engines to power her as well, and God helps those who help themselves engraved upon the wheel. Captain Sam's asked all of us to stay on as his crew for signing money, double wages paid in gold and prize money. I took the offer and the choice that I would never rue gave me two years of voyage and adventure on the sea. Merchant ships we stopped and burned, but it was our proud boast that passengers and crew were taken off and never harmed. We fought and sank the Hatteras just off the Texas coast. We made the Alabama famous and we thought our lives were charmed. But after two years of hard sailing and eluding Union cruisers, our ship in need of overhaul, our luck was wearing thin. And so it was at Cherbourg that our nemesis awaited when 
Captain Winslow's Kearsarge arrived and boxed us in. And as we lay in Sherbrooke port, preparing for the fight, the British steam yacht Deerhound berthed behind us by the wall. John Lancaster, her owner, arrived by train that night and resolved to follow us from port to see what would befall. Across the rolling ocean, let your course be fair and true. Is success to the dear hound and her crew. Having signalled her intentions to come out and fight at sea into international waters, the Alabama sailed. We exchanged fire for an hour as we tried to cross the T. We steamed in seven circles, but the Kearsarge prevailed. She hauled the Alabama on the starboard water line. She settled by the stern, and a white flag was waved. And as the Alabama went down, I was flung into the brine. But I and forty others by the dear hound's crew were saved, which deprived the Union's Winslow of receiving the surrender of our injured Captain Sands, who threw his sword into the sea. The kindness of the dear hound's crew I always will remember as we hastily departed from that scene of misery. And so it was that summer's evening on the 19th day of June I returned at last into Southampton water. The steam yacht dear hound carried me Across the English Channel, sweet fortune smiled on me the day I caught her. Across the rolling ocean, stars may guide you on your way. Those who fight and run may live to fight another day. Now I will leave the rolling ocean. So farewell and adieu, here's success to the dear hound and her crew. Now I will leave the rolling ocean, so farewell and adieu, here's success to the dear hound and her crew.